uh, you know, decent ACADs and the GMAT score, which was uh, lower than the class average. And uh, your experience in academic and teaching uh, domain uh, to showcase, uh, you know, it was, it, it must not have been an easy application to build. What was your application strategy and uh, primary focus area when you were, uh, you know, strategizing about your application? Sure. Uh, so I think everyone I talked to kept saying like, so my GMAT score was 680 and I wasn't sure if I could do better, honestly, because I was going through a tough time personally. And I was like, this is my one chance. So, uh, everyone said I have a diversity profile. I'm not an engineer and I should use that as a strength. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that the GMAT was the only quote unquote weak thing in my application. So I'm good at essay writing. Uh, I, I write in newspapers often. So I wanted to ace the essays. I took ISV Mantra's help. Uh, so I had a consultant called Anumeha uh, who works with ISV Mantra. And um, she kept my essay entirely genuine and did an incredible job sort of just making sure that every line answered the question that was being asked. So I'm very thankful. Um, apart from that, I wanted to sort of ace the interview. So... Uh, I mean, when I got the chance, I was like, I thought to myself that if they did not believe that I could get in, they would never give me this chance. So like the, something about this sort of might have worked for them. So I made a Google doc of some, I, I signed up for the assured admit package. And I, I also made a Google doc of all the most commonly asked questions and whatever sort of answers I wanted to have for them. So, so yeah, that was the plan. Uh, 